That was the eighth year of minting coins with George Washington on the obverse side. Even though some of the coins produced this year are still in circulation, the 1940 quarter value is typically higher than their denomination. Be aware that these coins' collectability is primarily connected with their exciting history. However, it also depends on their look, luster, mint imperfections, and wear and tear of pieces that spent years circulating. Let's check all the information about these lovely coins together. The Washington Quarter history started on August 1, 1932, when the first silver coins of 25 cents were realized into circulation. The U.S. Mint officials decided to issue these coins to celebrate the bicentennial of the first American president's birth. It was an opportunity to replace the previous standing Liberty Quarters once and for all. The first choice was Laura Garden Fraser's design, but the Treasury Secretary preferred John Flanagan's work. It is still unclear whether the reason was Flanagan's talent or whether Mr. Mellon disagreed with hiring a female sculptor. The appearance of this coin finally rejected Washington's opinion that showing government officials on coinage was too colonial and imperial. Nevertheless, his face was used for the $1 bills since they appeared in 1869. On the other hand, most decided his place was on one of America's coins. In fact, the first idea of putting this honorable man on one of the coins came up in 1924. Based on his democratic beliefs, it was expected that he would have undoubtedly agreed with that decision. After all, that's the basis of democracy, isn't it? Even though Laura Garden Fraser's design solution won the competition, the then Treasury authorities favored John Flanagan's conceptual solution. That was the reason for this particular 1940 Washington Quarter's look. The 1940 Quarter obverse shows the left-facing portrait of George Washington, the first U.S. president. He looks serious with an official hairstyle of that time and a sharp gaze directed into the distance. The In God We Trust motto is in front of his throat, while the date is placed below the neck truncation. You can also read a word LIBERTY written in capital letters above the president's head. John Flanagan's initials are modestly engraved in the cutoff. The 1940 quarter reverse features an eagle with spread out wings. It rests on a bunch of arrows placed above two olive branches. Thirteen arrows symbolize the American preparedness for war, while the twigs represent the nation's striving for peace. The inscriptions on this coin side include, the U.S. Mint started minting the 1940 Washington quarters while Europe was at the beginning of Watu. These 25 cents were round silver coins with 119 reeds along the edge and a thickness of 1.75 mm, 0 0.06870 inches. Each piece contained 90% of this precious metal, weighing 5.623 g, 0 0.1808 troy ounces. The entire coin weighed 6.25 g, 0 0.20094 troy ounces, and had a diameter of 24.3 mm. 0.95669 inches. The total mintage of 46,756,846 quarters released in 1940 was divided into three mints. Besides regular coins and proofs without the mint mark issued in Philadelphia, you can find those with an S or D letter struck below the wreath. That is a sign they come in one of the smaller mints. The 1940 quarters are collectible coins, and you can count on decent prices even for those in the lowest collectible grades. In most cases, it is possible to find circulated pieces for $9.40 to $16. The price range for specimens that have never spent time in circulation is from $20 to $260. However, you can also buy quarters in MS-68 grade, but their prices are significantly higher. Such coins cost a fantastic $5,760 to $8,750 at auctions. The reason for such value is a low number of excellently preserved quarters despite the high mintage of 35,704,000 pieces. Interestingly, one collector was delighted with one 1,940 MS 68 Washington KC quarter offered at Heritage Auctions in 2013. Therefore, they bought it for $19,975 without a second thought. Uncirculated specimens have various prices depending on their quality. You should set aside about $140 to $450 for those in MS-60 to MS-66 grades, while the best-looking pieces rated MS-67 quickly reach $550 to $750. The particular surprise is the quarter minted in 1940 graded MS-68. 
This rare coin was paid $17,500 on eBay in 2022.